We are less than one fourth of the way through President Obama's second term, and people are already speculating on who will occupy the White House next. We are still three years out, but it is never too early to start talking 2016. After all, everyone else is doing it. It's far away, 2016, but it looks like Wall Street already making calls on just who will be facing off in the 2016 election cycle. Comedian Will Durst is thinking like most Americans are thinking. Oh my God, you people, give us a break. We don't know what's going to happen by 2016. The, the, the seas may rise so high that California is taken out of the electoral equation. We don't know what's going to happen. He's a five-time Emmy-nominated political satirist, but 2016 speculation is no joke. Quinnipiac just released a new presidential election poll that has Republican Chris Christie tied with Democrat Hillary Clinton in a hypothetical 2016 White House race. Neither of them has even announced if they're going to run, but apparently the race has started. Mark Levine is a political commentator who prides himself on winning the Washington Post in the loop presidential election contest for correctly predicting the electoral vote for all 50 states in the 2012 election. He says these polls are unreliable. Polls three years out are lots of fun for pundits. They're lots of fun for people to speculate. They mean nothing. For instance, three years before the 2008 election when the sitting president, George W. Bush, hit his second term limit, the polls had Republican Rudy Giuliani going head-to-head -head with Democrat Hillary Clinton. Neither of those candidates became their party's nominee. And three years before the 2004 election, polls told us Al Gore or Hillary Clinton would be the Democratic challenger to incumbent George W. Bush. But John Kerry ended up being their nominee, and Clinton and Gore didn't even run. While we are about a thousand days away from election day, Chris Christie has been christened by the polls as the Republican nominee. However, he's still celebrating his landslide victory over Barbara Bono in the New Jersey governor's race. What I'm interested in doing is uh, being the governor of New Jersey. And the fact is we've got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to focus on. And I know everybody's going to be speculating about what uh, may come in my future and lots of other people's future in, in our party. On the blue side, we have Hillary Clinton leading the polls for the 2016 election. She was also polled as the nominee for the 2004 and 2008 elections in the years before the race. I don't think anyone would have predicted in 2007 that Barack Obama was going to win the Democratic nomination. Another candidate can surprise pollsters or other factors could arise that force someone not to run. Hillary was inevitable in 2008. We don't know what's going to happen. 2016, who knows? She, she might be on trial for domestic abuse. We don't know. So if the polls are so inaccurate three years out, why conduct them? All of them would love to see their poll numbers high. If their poll numbers are high, they do make money because if Chris Christie looks like he's going to do well, then he'll get more money in his coffers. So they do have real world implications, just not for who's going to win. They do for the money game. Polls might not give accurate readings of who will be president three years out, but they certainly can help candidates raise money for their campaigns. In Washington, D.C., Perry Unboring, RT.